Hello guys, what you're about to see now is a free lesson from my new course called Cues in Laravel, which is released already. And this lesson will be about so-called idempotent jobs or about examples how to avoid some failures if the jobs in the queue are executed at unknown time with unknown situation and how to double check everything. If you want the full course on Cues in Laravel, the curriculum is here on the left. You go to laraveldaily.teachable.com and here it is, new Cues in Laravel. So you can purchase one course or you can purchase yearly membership for $99 per year. Here I have taxes added, VAT, but the original price is 99 with 19 course bundles. So by purchasing yearly membership, you get the access to all the 19 courses that are currently released and also everything that I will release for upcoming year. So yearly membership, I guess, is a better deal or you can purchase single course about queues. Both links will be in the description of this video. Now let's get to the lesson about how to be careful with the jobs. In this video, I want to show you two situations with the jobs that would make you think to be careful what's inside of the job and what status is of the objects inside of the job. So the thing with the job which are in the queue, you never know exactly the time when they will be executed and also what will be the situation when that happens. So the object may have changed by then, some errors may happen and the job may run the second time with a different scenario. So you need to be careful and I want to show you that with one example on the screen. So imagine you have a message board, message exchange mechanism like email, private messaging basically. So you send a message from one user to another user with a message text. And then you have a job. In this case, I'm creating a command, an artisan command to test that. So it's not controller, but it could be a controller. So you create a message and then at some point you dispatch a job that would be a different controller to mark that message as read. So the recipient opened that message and you want to match that as read, but you don't need to do that immediately because it involves email sending to the sender. So the sender should be notified that the recipient received and read the message or at least opened it. And inside of that job, we pass the message here as the message object. And inside of that job, we have two operations, update the message with red add as now, just timestamp. And then we send a notification email to the sender email that the message has been read. Looks logical, right? And let's try to run it once. So I will run that artisan command, which is PHP artisan message send in my case. And it would add a message into the database. So I have this database and in the messages we have refresh this. So this message red at is null. Let's open the jobs. Here we have mark message as red. It's already scheduled, but the queue isn't running yet. And when we do run the queue, PHP artisan queue work, what it does, it's processed. Then the jobs is empty, refreshed, and fail job is also empty, so it didn't fail. The notification has actually been sent and let's check that out. And I'm using locally the log to check the emails. Not sure if you know this, you can specify mail mailer as log and then all the emails will be not sent to somewhere, but it will be logged in Laravel log file. So at that time, this was sent with the text. Let's scroll down. The text is in HTML. So the paragraph, the message with title test has been read. So that was a success. The email has been sent, everything is fine. Now let's take a look what happens in a bit different scenario. First, let's imagine what happens if inside of the job, some operations succeed and some operation fail. So for example, the first one succeeds and the second one fails for whatever reason. For example, let's make a typo of naming the class the wrong way. And let's repeat what we did before. So message sent, we do have the message, Q work, it will fail, obviously, but let's take a look at the database. So failed jobs contain the failed job with exception of class not found, obviously, the jobs is empty because it's processed and now the messages, as you can see, red add is set successfully, which means that one operation succeeded, one failed. And now if we repeat that job, the problem is, let's take a look at the timestamp, 4.53.31. Let's say we fix that bug, we restart the queue, the queue, we do PHP artisan queue retry, or in fact, it should be a retry all. 
yeah pushed back into the queue fail job should be empty now jobs is here waiting for us to start the queue and if we start the queue again queue work processing processed great so we sent the message but what is wrong here it will update for the second time the same time step let's refresh and it has new value after a minute or so which means it is incorrect data so the message was read actually a minute ago or it could have been one hour ago in real queue applications the queue job may run much later if you have like hundreds or thousands of jobs so it does update the second time although it was done previously there's even a term about that that you need to make the job operations so-called idempotent i think it's uh, the way to pronounce it which means basically that if you run the same operation twice the result should be the same as in this case it should not update what should not be updated to do that we check if this message read at if not set or is null something like that so that's one thing that we could fix my overall idea here is from the time that the job is launched until the time that is actually executed the situation may change so you must check a lot of things in the job itself another situation even worse situation what if the message has been deleted by then so the person has read it okay the job is in the queue but by then the message has been deleted by a sender rare scenario but may happen let's try to simulate that so I've cleared up all the database tables, no messages, no jobs, and let's add a message again. So message sent, cool. But now for some reason, the message is deleted. Let's do it from the database without creating a separate controller. Let's delete the message. The delete is successful because there's no foreign key between the job and the message. And now let's try to run the queue. So queue work, obviously it fails. And let's see the error, failed jobs, refresh, and model not found exception so the message is not found but in reality that job should still succeed even if it doesn't find the message it means that the notification is irrelevant but it should not fail as a job it tried to do the job it didn't find anything oh well then it means that i'm not really necessary that should be kind of a process thought of a job if it was a person or something. So how to change that in a job? There are multiple ways. For example, you may pass not the message, but message ID, for example, like this, and it wouldn't be a message. So it would be a message ID here. Probably I won't make it as a full example. I will just show the main idea. So you have message ID as a parameter, and then you do inside message equals message find this message id something like this and then if message you do all the operations you need something like this so you check the data exactly at the time when the job is running of course it's just one example it depends on your situation maybe extra query to the database is unnecessary in your situation maybe you pass some more parameters for example to decide whether the job should execute something or just succeed without any operations but that was my idea that something could have changed before the job is actually executed since the time that it has been put into queue so be careful in the job handle method and check whatever you need to check.